nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion is the way by which two or more like charged atomic nuclei join together to form a heavier nucleus. It is accompanied by the release or absorption of energy. Nuclear fusion is the process by which our sun produces energy. Every second, 600 million tons of hydrogen is being converted into helium. This reaction releases a tremendous amount of heat and energy. Here is how man-made tritium-deuterium fusion works. Tritium, a fairly easily made isotope of hydrogen, is smashed into deuterium, a naturally occurring isotope of hydrogen. These combine, forming helium-4 and releasing a neutron. A tremendous amount of energy is released when they fuse. Fusion has two main applications on our planet. It can be used as an explosive, as in the case of hydrogen bombs, or it can be used to generate electricity in a fusion reactor. First, I will cover how nuclear fusion is used as a weapon. Most nuclear weapons in today's world arsenal are based on the teller ulam design. Because of the secrecy and confidentiality of nuclear weapon designs, most of the information is leaked and is subject to some variation. The teller ulam weapon design is based upon the idea of chaining reactions together to make the total output of the weapon greater. In this design, there is a primary fission explosion and a secondary fusion explosive. There could potentially be a tertiary stage, another fusion explosion to make the bomb more powerful, but no country has come out in saying that they developed one. Primary stage of a teller ulam bomb. A sphere of fissionable material, plutonium or uranium, surrounded by high chemical explosives. Inside the sphere is a hollow containing tritium and deuterium gas to boost the fission reactions of fusion. The chemical explosives detonate, compressing the uranium to a supercritical mass where it undergoes fission, releasing energy as x-rays. The hydrogen gas in the center of the sphere is compressed, causing fusion, which releases neutrons, which boosts the fission by reacting with unreacted uranium atoms. Secondary stage. The secondary stage of the thermonuclear weapon is a mass of fusionable material, lithium and deuterium, which is surrounded by uranium or lead tamper slash pusher. When thermal equilibrium is reached after the primary explosion, the x-rays cause the tamper to ablate, meaning it is sheared off, causing extreme compression on the fusion core in the magnitude of 68 billion bar. The lithium and deuterium is broken apart, and the deuterium fuses, releasing an extreme amount of energy. Potential reaction. The neutrons released from the deuterium fusion can react with the uranium tamper, causing more fission, releasing still more energy. The other use of fusion is to generate electricity. Most design studies for fusion power plants involve using the fusion reactions to create heat, which is then used to operate a steam turbine, which drives generators to produce electricity. There is a much lower risk using fusion power than fission power. To gain energy from the fusion reaction, conditions must be maintained perfectly. Anything wrong would result in the reactor shutting down, eliminating the chance of a catastrophic failure. The largest current experiment is the Joint European Taurus, JET. In 1997, JET produced a peak of 16.1 megawatts of fusion power, 65% of input power, with fusion power of over 10 megawatts sustained for over 0.5 seconds. In June 2005, the construction of the experimental reactor, ITER, designed to produce several times more fusion power than the power put into the plasma over many minutes, was announced. ITER is an international tokamak, magnetic confinement fusion, research slash engineering project that could help to make transition from today's studies of plasma physics to future electricity producing fusion power plants. With ITER, we will realize for the first time in worldwide cooperation a burning fusion plasma. With this 500 million watt fusion plasma, a burn duration of at least eight minutes and the test of new technologies, we will contribute to the design of the first real fusion power plant. Fusion generators have the potential to provide for all of our energy needs. Fusion has the power to do so much good or so much evil. Fusion could be the power source of the future.